If I want to add additional data sources into Elastic Observability, all I need to do is to just click on Add Agent here to enroll an additional host. So what's happening here is that I want to add a new host into the system. And I'm presented with the installation instructions right here. All I need to do is just copy this command, go over into my terminal, and execute this once. I'm now being asked for confirmation if I would like to run this as a service. And all I need to do here is just quickly confirm by typing yes, and then the service will be installed and started automatically. If I now go back into Kibana, we should see in a few seconds from now that the agent is now enrolled. There we go. And we're now waiting for incoming data, which should also appear very, very soon. So let me close this and um, let's talk about onboarding data sources. We've enrolled this agent, which means that by default, we're now collecting system logs and system metrics. But what if we would like to add more? Maybe we have, as is the case here, an Nginx service running on this web server host. If I would like to collect Nginx logs and metrics, all I need to do is select my agent here and add an additional integration to it. I can choose from a list of hundreds of them right here. So let's search for Nginx and just select this integration as it is. Click Add Nginx here. And usually the defaults are perfectly fine. This depends a bit on the integration, but for the most part, the default settings should work well for this type of integration. Clicking Save here, Save and Deploy. And what's going to happen now is that this configuration that I just changed will be deployed to all of my agents that I have enrolled into this policy. So we have this central management functionality, which allows us to centrally configure what I would like to have monitored. This takes away a significant amount of the complexity of managing agents. You don't have to edit any YAML or JSON files. You don't have to SSH into your hosts anymore. Or even worse, you don't have to ask your employees to come your, to your help desk so you can make a software update or any kind of installation. We can configure anything centrally from right here. Our agent just updated, which means that now we have this Nginx integration enabled on our host. Now, these integrations, they come with a list of assets, which means that we ship ways to visualize this data out of the box as well. If we look at the assets that come with this, for example, um, we can now open this metrics Nginx overview dashboard. And what we would expect to see here is that we now receive data from our web server. So if we just select our web server number one, we can see that we just now have data appearing for this particular host at the very right-hand side. In addition to just dashboards and visualizations, this particular integration also comes with a machine learning job that's able to interpret the data that we collect from this instance. So it's really powerful. With just a few clicks, you can get visualizations, machine learning jobs, and much more. Now, another common question that we get is how real-time this data is. How much of a delay is there when it comes to monitoring those hosts. For this, uh, let's jump over into this dashboard. Um, what this shows us right now is the CPU utilization of the host that we just installed the agent on. We can see that currently it's hovering around uh, 3 to 4% maybe. But let me now go over into my host here and just run a very simple stress command, which is going to spike the CPU. Going back into my dashboard, I can instantly see this metric spiking and if I just go back into my terminal, stop my stress command and go back, wait a second or two, we can now see that we are down to 0%. So it can be as real time as you want it to be. Typically, we collect data every 10 seconds for most of the integrations, but it's configurable. And in this case, I set it to one second. So we have the data available pretty much in real time. 